Hey y'all, it's Chelsea Beauty back with another hair video. So I'm gonna try to get through this whole video, but two minutes thing so long. So I'm probably gonna end up shortening it out. But anyway, so the first thing I did was shampoo and recondition my hair. And after that, I blew, um, blew dry my hair by using the blow dryer with a comb attachment. And I don't really like using blow dryers with comb attachments because I don't know, it's just like, I don't know, in hair school, they say if you use a comb attachment, that means you're cheating and you need to give your client what they boot for. But also, other than that, I think that a regular blow dryer using a blow dryer and a powder brush or a brown brush gets your hair drier faster. So that's less heat that you have on your hair. And it's just like a habit to me. Also, when you use a blow dryer and a powder brush or a round brush, your hair does get more flow to it. That's what in the background. But yeah, your hair gets more flow to it. It's like, it's called air forming. So when you air form your hair, it's more flowy than when you use a comb attachment. So I guess that's why they call it cheating. Okay, so the next thing I did, I did not do a full braid down because I just was not in the mood to braid my hair down. And I knew I wasn't gonna wear this wig for that long, so I did two anchor braids, and then I'm going to smooth my hair down into a slick, actually into two slick ponytails. And I left my edges out because I'm not doing, I'm not gluing no wig to my hairline. I don't think I will ever do it again because of her wig. So anyway, I left out the section of my hair that's gonna be like a leave out slash baby hairs, and then I'm gonna glue the part right in the middle where I'm gonna have my part and I'm gonna sew down where the frontal sideburns will be I'm just gonna sew that down to my anchor braid because ain't nobody got time for all that so I was just adjusting to where I think it'll lay flat and be balanced the most and then I'm going in with the blow dryer again just to get the wig a little bit flatter and I sprayed it with a little holding spray just to have more control so the hair won't be flying everywhere. So after that I'm going to bust down the middle and go ahead and slick it into two low ponytails using it's the braid formula gel but you can use any gel you can use the water you can use whatever you want to use on your hair just make sure that you're going to slick it into two ponytails to the back and when you're slicking your hair down you want to mold it in smaller sections don't just like put gel on top of your hair so i was on my live somebody asked me to show the product again i don't mind showing my products because guess what i want to know good products and i know you do too without having to waste your money on trying products it don't work but yeah the braid formula gel does work very well so next i'm gonna braid my two ponytails into two wendy's braids and then i'm gonna crisscross some applesauce and yeah it's just gonna make it be a little flatter at the back so at the back i was gonna use uh bobby pins but i decided not to use bobby pins because sometimes bobby pins can irritate your scalp if they go in the wrong place <laughs> I would list the car to be a uh, best life. And there was a part when she was like, she had to drop down to God and pray for this. So, yeah, that's what we be doing over here. Good vibes only. Ain't that right with me? Mm hmm. I had showed a clip of all the stuff I'm about to use. So, I'm about to use a one curler. <laughs> then, I'm gonna, well, I'm going to use a hot comb, a one curler, a flat iron, blow dryer, small flat iron, and yeah, some other stuff. A needle and three. But yeah, that's me right here sewing down where the ear tabs will be on the wig. I just sewed it into the anchor braid. I didn't sew it a lot because I wasn't planning on doing too much, you know. It didn't have to be that secure, but it was secure. But I didn't want to do too much. But yeah, so we just stitched it down. And I'm just going in with a small flutter and just the flutter in my edges so it can be straighter and more smooth. And I just cut off a little bit of excess lace because excess lace is a headache because there'll be more blending that you have to do with your skin if the lace don't all already blend in with your skin. So I'm using, I think, two different glues. I think it's the Ghost Bun Lace Glue and the Boho Lace Glue. And what I learned is 
most hair glues it's the same like it's just like i don't know i guess it just depends on your skin that day and how you with your skin how your skin is skinning but yeah i don't really like lace glue if i could do without it i would which you can but i just wanted a little more security i just want to be a little extra today anyway because it was mother's day weekend and i was going to stephanie mills concert so i want to be a little extra extra read all about it and right i'm just standing out the baby hairs and i'm letting that glue i had to redo it because it started being like a thick and like gooey so i just wiped it off and did it again and when you put hair the glue on your hairline you don't want to put it like directly on your hairline you can but i mean when you get ready to take it off that's the important part you don't want to just like snatch the glue off of your baby hair you want to like get the proper products to break the glue down so they won't snatch your edges straight out but now i'm just going in with the flat iron to give my hair a little get it a little more smooth before i go in and one curly at this point, I was like, do I really want to go in and one curl my hair or is it cute enough like this? But I was like, it's Mother's Day weekend, so we're going to go ahead and hit it with the one, two, one curls, all right? And y'all, when I'm doing hair, I have to listen to music. I just can't do hair in silence. And I don't like watching movies while I'm doing hair, unless I'm doing like braids. It's going to take all day. There you go. That's me going in with the second layer of glue. And I just got the lace pinned back with a hairpin hair clip just because it takes so long for the glue to dry and turn clear because like why do they make the product like that just please make it clear make it go on clear so you gotta wait for it to turn clear okay so while i wait on this glue to dry i'm gonna show y'all the bow hold bottle and i did go in with even adhesive spray but i mean it didn't do much but it is something <laughs> So yeah, that's my Marilyn Monroe poster, this mug here. But yeah, I'm just using it as a fan to make Okay, so I was still waiting on the glue to turn clear. So I just went ahead and started one curling my hair. And after that first section, I'm like, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to one curl my hair? But I'm like, yeah, we're going to go and get through this thing. So I just started doing random curls, no particular order. I like to curl my one curls going backwards. That's just what I be doing. So sometimes I switch it up. It just depends on my mood and what look I'm going for. So yeah, I just kept doing that all over. And I didn't let them, like when you curl hair, it be hot. You supposed to let them sit, but I didn't want them like super tight. I wanted more of a wave. So I just like ran my fingers through them so they won't get tight and sit in that tight curl form. So the glue finally turned clear and I'm just going in and smushing it. Yeah, I'm just going in and smushing it with the wooden stick. That's a wax stick because you don't want to use your fingers. as You want to use your fingers as little as possible because your fingers have oil. So it'll interfere with the glue and all that. So here I'm just going in with some more, um, taking out some more baby hairs and I'm going to trim them. And I'm just going in and thinning out some more baby hairs and trimming it a little bit. You can always go back and take out more baby hairs, but you don't want to take out too much in the beginning because you, once you cut it, it's gone. So yeah, that's it. That's final look and I'm done and out. Bye. You know what's up?